So, happens to everyone. You're trying to have a conversation with some uh, reactionary shitheel or some chud or some dirtbag leftist, thank you very much, according to the poll that I did, and you're talking about broad systemic issues, how the police are necessarily racist because the police do racism, how capitalism is exploitative because it exploits people as a system, how Western chauvinism is also real chauvinism and is bad for women and men. And the person that you're trying to talk to not only isn't responding to you, they don't even seem to be understanding what you're saying. Partially because people aren't really wired to see problems as being systemic. You know, that's one of the biggest problems that the left has in doing outreach, is that it's really difficult to explain a systemic problem in general, because people have a lot of difficulty internalizing that problems can be systemic, but th th that's a topic for another day. So this person that you're talking to, who doesn't quite understand what you're saying, points their finger in horror and tells you, You're saying I'm a Nazi! I'm not a Nazi! Quit telling everyone I'm a Nazi! Keep telling everyone I'm a Nazi! Everybody's gonna think I'm a Nazi! And before you even have the opportunity to explain that no, you're talking about systemic problems, not individualized problems, and you need to solve these problems by reforming the system, not punishing people, a deafening cacophony rises as the masses assembled declare in one voice. Hey, yo, that person's not a Nazi. Stop being weird. It is a problem that literally everyone online has faced at some point. Not necessarily in that way, but that problem. And that problem can be something like Blair White saying that people were critical of her blackface because it was her with a black face and not with the accompanying screen cap that explains that she's doing an impression of just a lot of outrageous stuff. It can be Ben Shapiro addressing global warming by saying, So, on the topic of global warming, it is not a problem because anyone affected by global warming can just sell their house to the detective comics superhero Aquaman. And speaking of Detective Comics, I think we need to have a talk about them. There is a scene in Zack Snyder's Justice League where Superman takes a super dump on Wayne Manor. And quite frankly, I feel threatened. It can be some judge saying that Lolicon isn't really pedophilia because it's just drawn images. Or because the age of consent is 14 in Japan. Uh... It's a deflection, but it's not just a deflection. It's also reframing the question that you asked into one that's easier to answer. And this isn't always malicious. Like the previously mentioned I'm not a nerd person may genuinely not, and in fact probably does not, understand the thing that you're saying. Again, uh, people really aren't wired to see systemic problems as systemic. So they reframe the question in a way that they can understand, and then answer that question. It's also something that people on the left can and should do. Anytime someone asks why so many black people are doing so many black crimes, you can answer by pointing to racist fucking police forces, or racist fucking laws, or racist fucking prison systems. And hey, remember that time that I asked if coronavirus was THE JEWS?! That was on purpose. I framed that specifically in the most self-defeating way I possibly could, not because I thought the question was valuable, but because I wanted to examine how propaganda works and how the people who are most affected by it are always the people who think that they're least affected by it. Also, how propaganda is constructed and yada yada yada, that wasn't a very good video, I'm sorry. And not just because there are bad actors who do this to exploit general goodwill that people have towards one another. There are also people who do this because they genuinely don't understand the thing that they're being asked. In those times when you see this happening, it's useful to stop for a second and restate your question. And maybe if the person doesn't seem to understand the question, reframe it in a different way. For example, if you're dealing with the person, it might be useful to stop for a minute and explain that you're talking about systems, about entire societies, not individual people, and that no one person is responsible for how society works, because no one can really control society. It takes large groups of people to do that. And you know, that might not work. 
the first time, or the first ten times, or the first hundred times. I know it took more times than that for it to get through my thick head. But eventually, there's going to be a point where these people look at the things that people have been telling them for years, and look at their own lived experiences, and see that these things line up. And we can do that, because the things that we're talking about are people's lived experiences. Because that's something that the left has over the right. Whereas the right has to make up all kinds of fanciful scenarios, all kinds of fanciful fables to justify their hegemonic power. All we have to do is say, Hey, wouldn't it be cool to have more money? And hey, why does Ben Shapiro have so much money anyway? Welp, I am all said out. That's everything I have to say about that, I think. Uh, for anyone interested, a uh, link to my Ko-Fi should be in the description of the video. I still need money for my new CPU so I can get a working computer. Uh, there should be a link to my Curious Cat in the description of the video. Don't bother going to it, I don't have access to it at the moment. Um, what I do have access to is my Twitter account, where if I'm not goofing off here on YouTube, I'm typically goofing off on you on Twitter. Now, or I'm playing my PS4. I've played so much Bloodborne, you wouldn't believe it's the only game that I have. Well, I mean, that and, like, some shitty Call of Duty game that my sister's shitty fiancé bought. <sighs> so, yeah. Um... I have a really major script that I've been working on, and been trying to record, but I can't quite get it right. Um, it's about a Kyle Rittenhouse, and more importantly, the effect that defending Kyle Rittenhouse has on people who are on the ground. And my perspective on this is going to be as someone who has been on the ground during tense confrontations. I'm hoping to get that out by Saturday, but like, I don't know if I'm comfortable making promises about that, because I'm still getting the hang of editing this uh, editing video on this phone. Uh, what else? I, I hope I get this video out tonight. I, it might be a little late. Again, I'm still getting a hang of editing. But yeah, um, other than that, I guess take care of yourselves, alright?